Honda has had its ups and downs over the past few years, but the CRV is one of the rocks upon which the house stands. Through October 2016, the compact crossover accounted for almost one quarter of Honda's annual volume in North America. And the automaker knows that if you want the bread to keep rolling and you don't mess with the butter. Indeed, the old CRV is selling so well that the new model is having a secret launch of sorts. Due to go on sale December 21st, the new CRV has been discussed only in muted tones, so as to keep sales of the current model humming. Top secret. Honda needn't have worried. The new CRV doesn't exactly get tail fans, an optional V12, or an anti-gravity drive. In fact, while steering the 2017 model around Northern California during the launch event, no one even noticed the new CRV. No doubt his is the way CRV buyers would like it, because even first timers new to the model come in expecting to find the reliable, well packaged, family friendly, affordable, and none too controversial vehicle they've heard about. It's steady as she goes with the 2017 CRV. Even so, Honda feels it has turned up the looks on the model a bit, adding big car features such as the Honda Sensing suite of safety countermeasures on X and higher grims, some shoulder to the styling, and an altogether more serious and imposing face. It's almost as if Lee Iacocca were calling the shots, the new CRV adds chrome filigrees here and there, including an embrace of the industry's burgeoning mania for upturned chrome hockey sticks as body side decoration. Well, what's good enough for BMW and Range Rover should be good enough for Honda. LEDs for the taillights, daytime running lights, and turn signals are another clue that this is the new car, as are the optional full LED headlight clusters. We've come a long way from the spunky original CRV, with its rear-mounted spare tire and spindly suspension bits visible underneath. Honda pushed a little harder in the interior. A 7.0-inch touchscreen, now with the radio volume knob, is the centerpiece of a pleasantly upscale dashboard with an unusual three-zone instrument cluster. Honda, perhaps significantly also a motorcycle maker, has been one of the braver companies when it comes to moving past the well-worn, two-dial convention of TAC and Speedo. In the CRV with its all-digital TFD cluster, the tachometer, not much needed in a vehicle that no longer offers a manual transmission, becomes a band at the top, and the speedometer is a digital readout, both executions of which seem appropriate for this car. Honda knows its buyers well, as evidenced by some of the small changes, such as twin 2.5-app USB ports and back, the reconfigured center storage bin designed for what real people stash, and reshaped door pockets with drink holders that will accommodate bottles as large as 1 liter in size. Passengers get a little more space, thanks to a 1.6-inch wheelbase stretch, which gives rear seat occupants another 2.1 inches of legroom, moving the rear seat up from economy to a very generous economy plus. Likewise, the cargo area grows nearly 10 inches longer with the rear seats folded, Honda's photos proudly display a full-size mountain bike inserted upright, albeit with the front wheel removed. Enter the turbo. You can have one of two engines but only one transmission, a continuously variable automatic CVT. The Bass LX uses the 2.4-liter twin cam direct injected inline 4 from the Honda Accord, here delivering 184 horsepower and 180 pounds to foot, while a 1.5-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with 190 horsepower and 179 pounds to foot goes into the X. XL, and touring models. The latter engine is what we sampled, and we can report that it gives unobtrusive, sturdy service with ample to work in the basement and ground floor as it goes about its quotidian task of moving the CRV, the curb weight of which Honda puts at 3,300 to 3,500 pounds depending on the trim and drive line. Honda's determination to put some excitement back into its products manifests in the CRV with excellent chassis dynamics and sharp steering. A stiffer steering column and fluid-filled suspension bushings are said to deliver both better ride compliance and more precise path control. You can rush this car if you need to without everything falling apart and your passengers screaming for relief.
It holds a corner with confidence and connects you with a direct line to the pavement. Perhaps it's no surprise, then, that one of project leader Takaki Nagadome's first jobs at Honda was body engineering for the original NSX. As in the Civic, the CRV's automatic is continuously variable on paper but feels like a conventional step gear transmission in motion. It upshifts at the top of each ratio, the numerical value of which is known only to the software. It could be said that the Honda CVD gives us the best of both worlds, step gear familiarity combined with continuous variability that is invisible to the driver. And, unlike conventional automatics, there's virtually no kick-down shock when you leg the accelerator for passing. Just the way you are. The new CRV's three best assets are that it seems rather quiet for this class, showing excellent cabin isolation on our drive, the steering is typically Honda terrific, and the interior is generous enough that some people eyeing larger SUVs might be lured into the CRV, thereby enjoying the side benefits of better gas mileage and easier garageability. The front wheel drive turbo version boasts an EPA rating of 30 miles per gallon combined, and the all wheel drive turbo lens at 29 miles per gallon. As with any turbo, much depends on how hard you work it, but drive it like a normal person and you should be rewarded with fuel thriftiness better than average for this class of crossovers. Indeed, neither the Toyota RAV4 nor the Ford Escape comes close to matching the new CRV 1.5T's combined EPA rating. The 2017 CRV's prices deviate little from those of the outgoing model increasing by between $200 and $650, depending on trim level, ranging from $24,945 for a front-wheel drive LX to $34,595 for a Touring AWD. All-wheel drive remains a $1,300 upgrade across the board. Like CRV buyers, Honda prefers that things stay just the way they are, 